Hello, welcome to our service of Compline this Tuesday the 29th of December. I'm Reverend Carol with the Kingsbury and Baxterley group of parishes. I do hope you have had a wonderful Christmas despite all the restrictions that we've been living under. So I just hope you've had a good time and we're able to see some family. Uh, so tonight um, I had planned on doing Thomas Beckett but the Church of England tells me that we're celebrating John the Apostle and Evangelist whose day is actually the 27th of December. Anyway, about John the Apostle. Whether or not <coughs> John the Apostle and John the Evangelist are one and the same the church honours on this day the one who proclaims Jesus as word made flesh and who is the disciple whom Jesus loved. John was one of the sons of Zebedee, along with James, who followed Jesus. John was there at the transfiguration of Jesus on the holy mountain. He was there with Jesus at the Last Supper. He was there with Jesus in his agony in the garden. He was there with Jesus and his mother standing at the foot of the cross. He was there with Jesus as a witness of his resurrection and he saw and believed. John was a witness to the word. He proclaimed the word and he lived and died witnessing to the word made flesh, Jesus Christ, who loved him and whom he loved. So that's a little bit of information about <coughs> the Apostle John and the Evangelist John, if they're two separate people. I don't think they are. I think they're the same. But that's my opinion. Scholars will probably tell you otherwise. So a moment of quiet as we allow God to come into our hearts this night. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let us just take a moment of quiet as we reflect on the past week, the difficult Christmas we've had, and any thoughts that we want to bring to God. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste. To help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. This evening I thought we would listen to the nuns from Call the Midwife singing before the ending of the day. Oh, Lord. 
our psalm this evening is Psalm 31, verses 1 to 5 and then verses 19 to the end. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me. For you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight of all for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love when I was a city besieged. I had said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried out to you. Love the Lord, all you his servants, for the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full the proud. Be strong and let your heart take courage all you who wait in hope for the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The scripture reading this evening comes from the Gospel of St John, chapter 1, verses 4 and 5. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia. The Word was made flesh. Alleluia. And dwelt among us. Alleluia. Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Word was made flesh. Alleluia. And dwelt among us. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us pray. To the Father we pray that the rest of this night may be holy, peaceful and full of your presence. To the Father we pray, with grateful thanks for the past day, for the conversations we have had, for the people we have encountered, for tasks completed and those left for another day. May all we think, say and do bring us closer to you. To the Father we pray, 
that we may hear and respond well to your call to peace and justice. In these times of racial and political unrest, let us acknowledge our past shortcomings and strive to be the best version of humanity that we can be, without recourse to damaging the lives and work of others. That our world and all creation receive your healing and renewing touch, that world economies recover swiftly and any recessions are short-lived. We pray for our government and our country as we come to the point of Brexit becoming a reality. We pray that the deal that has been struck works for everyone. And we pray for those whose lives have been disrupted by the pandemic, for those whose lives have ended because of the pandemic. To the Father we pray, for the sick in mind, body or spirit, that those suffering from any form of illness or disease are given restored health, that those suffering loneliness, anxiousness or fear are calmed and assured of your love, that those who have lost their jobs or are concerned for their livelihoods receive reassurance and comfort that all is not lost. We pray for our communities, especially for all those who have asked for our prayers and for those who live or work in the Firs and the Green in Kingsbury, Atherston Road in Hurley, Pinewood Avenue, Wood End and Blacksmith Lane, Baxterley. To the Father we pray that those who grieve the loss of a loved one especially the families and friends of Hilary Whitehead, Opal Bambridge, Alan Arkell and Gwen Franklin may find peace and hope and may they know that those who have died rest forever in your loving arms. To the Father we pray that you will strengthen and sustain us in your service and fill our hearts with longing for your kingdom. In faith we pray, through your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray the collect for St John. Merciful Lord, cast your bright beams of light upon the church, that being enlightened by the teaching of your blessed Apostle and Evangelist, St. John, we may so walk in the light of your truth, that we may at last attain to the light of everlasting life, through Jesus Christ, your incarnate Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We conclude our prayers with the Lord's Prayer in its traditional form. Please do feel free to join with me if you are comfortable to do so. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord make us dwell in safety. 
Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. May the love of the word made flesh enfold us, his joy fill our lives, his peace be in our hearts, and the blessing of God be with us this night and always. Amen. That concludes our service of Compline for this Tuesday evening. I wish you all a very happy and peaceful new year. Um, let us pray that it is a far better year than the year 2020 has been. Hoping that you all have a peaceful, quiet and safe night. And hopefully I'll see you all next Tuesday evening. God bless. <laughs>